So what did I say yesterday about the characteristic of cell? You remember? You remember? Yeah. Tell me first the what do you call as on it. Tell me first the names of the vocabularies quickly. Um, cell. We organism. About. Cell. Cell. Organism. Organism. Good. You create. Yes. What? Uh, Prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are you create? When you see here on the screen, when you see here on the screen, what do you think? What do you think, uh, Vakin? Which one is this? Is this a prokaryote or is this a eukaryote? No, this is a uh, one. Okay. I made you write yesterday that prokaryote is single cell. Whereas eukaryote is more than one cell. So which one looks, yeah, which one? This one is single cell, whereas these two, which is plant and animal, these are called as eukaryotes. eukaryotes. In this lesson, we will learn the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. And we will know more about characteristics of cell, okay? Are so small. Yes. Um, actually, I text Malak and she told me that. I made her in. She just requested I made her in now. Welcome, uh, Malak. How are you? Fine. Yes, Malak. We did not do anything. We just were revising the vocabulary words. Let's sell. Come on, read it with me, Malak. Sell. Okay. Sell. Organism, cell membrane, cytoplasm, organelle, nucleus, prokaryote. Prokaryote. Okay. Yesterday we wrote about prokaryote and eukaryote. What did I say you? Prokaryote means how many cells? Uh, one. Single cell. Eukaryote means multi cells. By the end of the lesson, you will be knowing the difference between four prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Okay, so let us go to the other slide. This dog is made of trillions of cells. Okay, one more thing I told you. What is the difference between atom and cell? When I say cell, can I say that cell is present in the water bottle? No. No, why? When I say cell, the word cell means it is the basic, the smallest unit of any living. Always remember girls, next to the cell, you remember the cell is never with the non-living. It's always in the living body. If the living body dies, the cell dies. Or if the cell dies, the living body dies. Okay girls? Yes, girls, can you give me an example? Anything what is made yes, of... Yes, I can't hear the video. <coughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so can you just imagine? I will play the other one. Did you know that this dog is made of trillions of cells? These cells are really, really small. You need a microscope to see them. Can you think of some other things that are made up of cells? 
tell me girls can you tell me things which are made up of cells can you hear now or no did you hear any video prokaryotes any example of cell yani where is cell present like example the dog is made up of cell so what is made up of cell people hmm people people like us we are made up of cell excellent and what else and organisms insect uh, uh, birds is the plants made up of cell yes because plants are living organisms right they are living yeah. living things so all living things are connected to cells that's why we have plants to an animal tissue you remember last week yes. i've shown you in the microscope the plant cell yeah. yeah yeah so there's a plant cell and there's an animal cell yeah. yes huh but sorry why don't animals move or talk or anything why don't animals since they're living since they're living creature why don't they can they walk because, they... because the brain the brain is connected girls the brain is connected to each and every organ subhanallah allah has created us in a way that we are advanced okay given extra memory given extra connections so we are the, the the most we say right we are the best of the makhluk we say that right yeah that's why they don't have those connections what we have okay but at the bottom line all the living cells are made up of cells yeah. sorry all the living organisms or all the living things are made up of cells A cell is the smallest unit of life that can carry out all of the processes living organisms need to do such as using food, getting rid of waste and moving. Some cells can even crawl. According to the cell theory, See, a cell she says she says that some cells can even crawl because of cell is giving like example cell combined to become tissue tissue combined to become organ. That organ is making an organ system so can you imagine your hand moving or your heart pumping or your anything happening without a cell can never be possible cell is the basic structure of every living thing this line is very important if you like you can write a cell is the basic structure of every living thing cell is the basic structure of every living thing click each photo to see an illustration of one of its cells Now when I see a dog what all the dog can do the dog can bark the dog can select its prey it can go and have food it knows its responsibilities Here's an illustration of a dog cell Notice the small shapes inside the cell These are called organelles which are big whatever parts like example my body is made of different parts and i call them as organ like that the cell is also has many 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 different organs that's why it's called as organelles these are called as organelles Organ. organelles in your vocabulary so you must know what is it what are organelles the small parts inside the cell the different uh, parts are called as organs which are basically the cells organs what are these these are called cells organs organs basically the cells organs plants are also made of cells plant cells have many of the same parts that animal cells have but they also have some unique parts too see plant cells also here look like animal cell but you know that the plant makes own food the animal do not make own food so there has to be something different in plant cell which let it see just the sunlight and water and خلاص it makes its own food it it it, it doesn't depend on somebody it doesn't walk and go to somebody else and eat the food right like animal yeah. 
So that's what, there has to be difference between animal and plant cell. But all these cells are called as eukaryotic cells. Which cells? Eukaryotic cells. Okay? See the human cell? Which cell does it look most like? The dog cell or the plant cell? Click those photos to check your answer. Tell me, tell me, which cell does it look like? Does it look like, like a plant cell or an animal cell? Animal cell. Animal cell. So let us click this. Animal cell. Here's an illustration of a dog cell. Notice the small shapes inside the cell. See the human cell? Which cell does it look most like? The dog cell or the plant cell? Click those photos to check your answer. Anyways. People didn't always know that living things were made up of cells. It took scientists centuries to come up with what we now call cell theory. We call it a cell theory that tells you about how, the cell, how was the cell invented? Who invented the cell? How did they know about it? Who was the one who discovered it? It's not invention, I'm sorry, it's discovery. Who, who's the one who discovered cell? And that all it's not only one scientist did. There were many scientists together exploring about it. And that's the reason it's called as cell theory. Inshallah, in our next class, we will learn about what all, who all were involved in that.